Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel, Never Too Late. It's Kim here. I am here today with a Thread Up box, rescue box. This is the um, Mystery Fun box. So that means it could be any type of accessory type things. I have no idea what's in here. This one is from Arizona, Phoenix. Um, this one, like you can see the side is like a little, it definitely feels a little fuller than the last one did. Um, the last one I got, I mean, it was fine. It wasn't bad or anything, but you know, it wasn't great either. So I'm hoping maybe this one will have some stuff in it. It had a lot of stuff in it that was unbranded or, um, I just didn't really know what it was. So I have no idea how to even try to resell it. So, um, I'm hoping this one maybe tells me a little bit more information about what's inside. So here we go. Oh, teaser. No, just kidding. Before I get started, if you have not subscribed and you enjoy, um, the unboxing content or reseller content, please subscribe. I will have more and more of that coming out in the future. Um, if you do like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. It really does help my videos to get seen more. And I love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think about what's inside this box. Is this, is the mystery fun box worth it? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it really is, honestly. I think it's not always, I'm not sure I'm always gonna be able to get my money back, but that doesn't matter when I'm, I'm opening it for a video. And it is fun. Whether it's worth it or not monetarily, it is so much fun to just get something and not really know exactly what's inside. So I do enjoy that. So it probably is worth it just on that. Um, but anyway, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? And um, if you hit the notification bell, you will get notified when my video is coming out. So let's get started. I can't wait. It's been sitting um, for a couple of days and it just, oh, it takes everything I have not to open it and sneak a peek. But I don't want to do that. So, okay, I'm opening it now. I'm going to open it so that you see it first. Okay, so here we go. The invoice here. And then let's... Okay. Looks like we got... I don't know. Um, I'm feeling like maybe this might be another one where it's going to be a hard time maybe reselling it some of it looks okay though okay so let's see I wanted to tell you the box does cost 30 34 dollars and I think you get 10 items okay so you get 10 items 34 dollars plus it's tax and 9.95 um shipping so I did work it out with the last one which was the same pricing and it came out to four dollars and I think like 61 cents so about $4.50 an item. So that's what I'm looking at when I'm thinking, can I resell this and, and, you know, get my money back? So let's just get started. The first thing I noticed, there was a little piece of cardboard from the box. The first thing I noticed was a Disney Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, I think. Those are cute. Okay, so these I can definitely resell. They are very soft and furry. Very soft. And they definitely are... A Disney um, brand they're branded Disney and they say um, there's a clearance sticker on them for three dollars and sixty cents trying to think see if there was a, a price before that there was I don't think so um, but very cute look on the inside they're the fur they do have um, the little rubber grips these are very 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 cute these are very cute. They are kind of small. I think they would fit me, but I, I'm not not a nightmare on Christmas. It's not that I don't like it, but it's not like something I'm that crazy about. And I have so many fuzzy, fuzzy socks. So this isn't something I would probably keep, but yeah, I took the, I took the clearance sticker off so you could see the whole tag. So it is Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. This tag <laughs> sticking to my hands. So this is a good one. This one I should be able to resell for, I don't know. I'll have to look up and see if I can find how much they retailed for originally. Hold on. But, you know, maybe I can get like $10 for them or something like that. All right. This, I'm not sure about these. This looks like some type of a pair of um, pantyhose. 
I'm not seeing any type of size on the back. It says made in China and everything is in another language. It just says sexy, bright silk. And it, they look like little black stockings. But like I said, there's no size. I don't know if I'm going to find out much information about this um, to resell. Maybe this might be something I just put in as a free gift with my Poshmark. I don't know. Okay, it looks like I got a scarf here. And I did have a whole scarf box. So I can't say I'm not excited about another scarf. <laughs> Let's see if there's any information on this one. Any branding. No, it is nice. I like the colors. It's very, very soft. I was hoping it would have a tag saying what it was made out of, but I don't see one. But it's very soft and the colors are very pretty. So I will put this in my, uh, with my other scarves and, um, I'm still working out. Oh no, there's a tag. It's from Morona. Okay. There's a tag. Woohoo. I just missed it. Okay. So it's from Morona. It is a hundred percent acrylic. Okay. Well, I think, um, because it is branded, I can definitely throw this up for resale and I might get these silk stockings. A shot to maybe put them with something else I don't know we'll see okay let's see what's next socks I got socks in the last one I got um, so and now I've gotten are these Bo Bowden socks why does that sound like that's a brand I've heard of before I feel like I've seen Bowden advertised on TV I'm gonna have to research if you know about Bowden socks is this one of those ones where they say they like donate some? No, that's something else, I think. Let me know if you recognize Bowden. Bowden, the brand, is really sticking in my head. Here you can see where it's very clearly. These are very cute. There's um, kind of a, a green forest and, and a, like a reddish color. There's a yellow, like a mustard pear, a pink and green pear. Um, a reddish, pinkish color with like a... a off white and then another pink and green but switched around these are cute and to be perfectly honest but the only thing with these is I don't really like socks that are this low because my feet are small and they always end up like going into my shoe and I'm just walking on them so if these were a little higher I would be very tempted to keep them for myself let's see if it's we can get any more information um Okay, 82% cotton. Okay, so they're mostly cotton, so that's nice. They are very soft, they feel nice. So a pair of socks, I mean a set of socks. So I think I will probably, I'll look into the brand Bowden. Like I said, if you know about Bowden, put that in the comments for me and I will, I'd love to know more. Okay, I don't know what this is. These look like maybe, maybe, oh, these are Old Navy, extra large. That's my size, guys. That's my size. Old Navy Extra Large Pajama Bottoms. Elastic waist, I'm gonna stand up so you can see better. Drawstring with this really cute, like canvasy kind of ribbon. Um, snowflakes, okay. I, if there's one thing I love in this world, it's Old Navy pajamas. For me, personally, Old Navy pajamas are some of the most comfortable. I have pairs of Old Navy pajamas that I have pretty much worn to death and I still won't get rid of them. And my husband's like, you can get rid of those. I'm like, no, I don't think so, not quite yet. So these I'm definitely gonna try on. If these fit me, I'm just gonna keep these for myself and be very happy. Okay, what, oh, okay, we have a bag. It's a backpack. This is kind of cute. This is cute, look at the, it's, it's a, a canvas. It's that canvas that I don't like the texture of. So it's not for me, but it is very pretty. I like the color. It's kind of a, like a dark gray color. It has really nice uh, gold tone closure here. Um, did I just zip it? I just zipped it up. Okay, so it's got a zipper pocket in the front. You can see that's kind of a nice deep zipper pocket. Um, on the top and then like I said it is a it could either be a clutch or a backpack it's got the adjustable gold fixtures for the backpack as well um, inside oh this is nice it does have some branding on the inside 
it says a new day. Okay, so the brand is a new day. Uh, this is a very nice backpack. Um, inside it has a couple of pockets. It has a zipper pocket here. And then if you go around to the other side, it has another just big open pocket. And then, um, yeah, that's nice. That's a really nice little backpack purse. That's really nice. So far, I'm really liking this box more. <laughs> okay, there's some jewelry in here. Let's look at the jewelry. You know I like some jewelry. I'm not opposed to keeping jewelry if I like it. This, I'm not sure if this is a bracelet. Is this a necklace? No, these are bracelets. These are little bangles. Look at these little bangles. These are pretty. They've got little rhinestones, and it's like um, wire, but it's like four strands together. And there are one, two, three, four, five of them. Um, four of them are kind of a gold tone, and then one of them is more of a silver tone with some bronze, like a little bronze bits. Um... So you can wear these as a group or singularly. I don't see, once again, I don't think I'm going to see any kind of branding. But honestly, I'm going to probably keep these because I think they're super cute. Let's try them on. Oops, get down. Yeah, they fit nicely. Yeah, I'm keeping these. All right. So probably two I'm keeping. Um, If those pajamas don't sell, then I will definitely, you know, put those up for sale. But if... Um, they don't sell. I think I said I don't, they don't fit. The brain. The brain. I tell you. Anyway, if they don't fit, I will put those up. But so far, I'm considering keeping the pajama bottoms and these little bangles. So cute. And I am happy that this bag is really nice. It is branded. So at least I know I can look up what they sell for and kind of get an idea of if what the value is. It's a very nice shape. Look at look how, I mean, I'm not seeing any staining or anything. It's very nice. Um, but three things so far have been new with tags, which is also awesome. Looks like we have some more jewelry. This is a necklace. Okay. I don't know what this is, but it's very pretty. It's kind of, it's a long pendant. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this a little bit. Okay. It's a, it's a, um, a long pendant, but it looks like. Okay, I'm not sure that it still works. It looks like to me, what's the, I don't see any branding on it. It's got silver chains, silver hardware, but it looks like that this is supposed to slide. Possibly, oh, there we go. It's just tuft. So this slides so that you can make it as long as you would like it to be. So it can be very long or shorter depending on, you know, how much you slide it. So, you know, here, let me stand up and see. Let's make this a little long. Here we go. Yeah, it's working now. Um, I see myself keeping this too. Yeah, I'm perfectly happy to keep jewelry. <laughs> we all know I love jewelry. Okay, so nice. So, I, you know, if I find stuff for me that's nice quality that I think is pretty, and I think that the surface is very pretty. I don't know quite what it's made out of. I don't think it's real stone. I think it's some kind of a, I don't want to say plastic, but you know what I mean, that... Anyway, I think it's very pretty, and I think with the right outfit, it could be very, very, very pretty. So, okay, I'm good with two. I'm good with two two jewelry pieces to keep for myself. That works for me. Okay, this I think is a belt. I think this looks like a chain belt. It looks like I'm once again looking to see. If it has a name, it does not. I'm not seeing any name on it. It looks small, so I don't think it's going to fit me, but we'll see. But it looks like what you do is just hook it. Oh, you're just going to hook it here. Okay, I see. Hold on. And then you could hook it however you want, and it would hang down. Um, so, I mean, that's a nice gold chain belt. Obviously, it's not real gold, but... Very cute. Let's see if it fits around me. It looks small. It looks small. <laughs> yeah, I could just, just get it to fit. So, um, you know, 
I'm going to start eating healthy, so I might hang on to it because I do like a good chain belt, and this is substantial. So I might actually hang on to this one and give myself a month or two and see if the healthy eating and the exercise, you know, makes this fit me. And if this fits me, I might keep it, or I may eventually end up listing it. Um, I don't really think I would list it for very much, so if I can keep it, I think it would be really nice. All right, next we have another, some type of bag. It is philosophy and I cannot tell oh if this is a philosophy um little makeup bag or travel bag for your you could use it for your makeup you could use it for jewelry you could use it for hair accessory I mean you could use it for a lot of things it does have a snap here so it snaps and then it does say philosophy on the front it looks very clean inside. So, you know, I think there's a lot of things where we get them, we take the tags off, and then we never actually use them very much. So this looks like a, if it was used, it was not used very much. So what it has is, okay, this part, oh, okay. This middle part will unclip here. So I guess you could put something along here and hold it in if you wanted to as well. It snaps open on one side. I gotta snap it back. It's always the hard part. Okay, so this unzips, and you've got this big compartment, and then you have a zipper compartment on this side, and another zipper compartment on this side, which the zipper seems to be a little twisted on this side. Let's see if I can get that fixed. Oh, okay, I see how it is. It's not supposed to zip as far on this side. It's like double dot, I don't know looks a little different on that side, but it's a nice little faux patent leather. So easy to keep clean, to wipe down if you get something on it. It's got silver hardware. That's a nice little bag. Um, I, I, there's a good chance I'll keep this for myself to store something in. Okay, we are down to our last item. It is a belt. And it does have beside it and one of their little things which these are usually put on things because it's been authenticated so i don't know what this is i don't see branding it is a brown belt it looks like it might be real leather um from the inside it's very soft it has a really nice um kind of a brush steel looking belt buckle with some detail on the top it's a very nice looking buckle um, and then it's got stitching on either side. It does say real leather. Okay, so it is a leather belt. It says real leather 52130. I don't know what that means. That's what it says. Um, it's a nice belt. It's very big though. If this, I don't know if this would fit me or not. If this fits me, honestly, I will keep this. Let's try it on. Let's see. Maybe that little authentication tag was just in there by accident. Um, it does, no, it's it's big on me. I think it's too big. I can, what, this is a nice belt though. This is a beautiful belt. I really honestly can't tell if it's meant to be a men's belt or a women's belt. I think Thread Up only takes women's clothing, so I'm gonna guess a women's belt, but this is a really nice belt. Just really, really nice. I still don't see anywhere where it says, you know, what the branding is. Oh, look at where the, um, you know, you put the extra of the, the belt in. It's, it's leather, but then it's metal around it. Very nice construction. This is really, really nice belt. Um, okay, I am... You know, I think I like this box. Well, I can't say I didn't like the bo last box because I got a purse in that one that I really love. So I got a really cute Snoopy purse. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. I did get a really cute Snoopy purse. I did get socks in that one too. I got polo socks. Um, but I like this one better. Everything, you know, there's more things that are branded and are giving me information so I can figure out if I want to resell them or how to resell them. I feel like I might be able to get my money back on this one, honestly. Um, since this belt is too big for me, I will I will be listing it. It's such a nice belt. Um, so I will be listing that um, probably on both Poshmark and on um, 
um, Depop. I got the little um, accessories, makeup, travel bag that is from Philosophy. Really nice bag. Um, may I keep that one, may I list it, I'm not 100% sure. So let's make sure, okay, so that's two. Um, three is the gold link belt, which I really like. Um, so if I can fit into this one, I might keep that one too. Um, so that is three. Four are the Bowden socks. I'm gonna look into these more, but I will most likely be listing them because they're so short and I just don't do well with short socks. So that is number four. Okay, numbers five and six are the pieces of jewelry that I'm going to be keeping. This pretty silver necklace with this, I don't know what it is, the pendant is, but it's really lovely. I'm going to be keeping that one, and I'm going to be keeping these um, bracelets. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the Disney Nightmare Before Christmas little um, slipper socks. Very cute. So that's seven, eight is this really cute nylon um, backpack purse. Really nice. Um, so, did I say that's seven? I've lost count. I'm so bad at counting and remembering where I was counting because I start looking at whatever else I'm doing. And I, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is seven, okay? Eight was the, the pants, I mean the, the pants, the slipper socks. Nine are these old navy pajama bottoms that I personally am very excited about. Ten is the scarf, but it is a branded scarf and it is really nice. So I think I will probably be listing this. I might do like lots of scarves and do a couple of them together. Um, so this was ten, right? I'm gonna count again because I keep losing count. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, 10. And then I also had, so that was 10. So I got 11 things. I got these little, um, these, they're calling them sexy, bright silk stockings. I, I don't know that they're actually silk. I don't want to open them. I will probably do something with these. I'll either, uh, you know, list them with something else. If I find something that I think this would be a cute little addition to a skirt or a dress, maybe I'll list it together. Um, or I might, just throw it in as a freebie when someone buys something that I think it would go cute with. Um, because I do not do well with stockings staying up like this, this type. I think they're super cute, but I don't really do well. Um, so I got 11 things instead of 10. Um, so that's nice. I, I, I'm happy with this one. I'm really happy. Can't wait to try on those pajamas because those might be going right in the washing machine for me to wear. Um, yeah, this was a good one. This backpack purse is so cute. If it was not made out of that nylon, nylon that I just get, it's just, I just, I can't, mm, don't like it. I, I mean, it, most people are fine with it. It's just that every once in a while there's something that just tactily just bothers me and it, that's the, it's just beautiful and nice. So if it was made out of something different, I would probably, probably be considering keeping that for myself too, because that was really pretty. So this was a good box good one all right this has made me think maybe when i see these come available and i don't see them come available all that often i mean honestly i check i refresh the thread up um rescue box page i go on and check it a couple times a day usually whenever i'm checking if i'm checking anything on my phone i'm like oh let me just see if they have any um and every once in a while i will see the rescue box come up I think I've only seen it come up like two times and then I did see it for a couple of days. I bought one and then I saw it a couple more days. It was still up, but it's since gone. Um, so, you know, I probably will buy another one when it comes back up again. Um, I have yet to see the thread up designer DIY designer box come up when I've looked. If I get, if I see one of those, I'm definitely going to buy one. I would love to have one of those to open. So I will probably be getting more, I'm pretty sure I'll be getting more thread boxes because, you know, they're fun to open. You don't know what's inside and, you know, they're pretty quick about shipping. And I think there's going to be a good portion of things that I can list from time to time or things I can use for other things. So anyway, this was a good one. All right. More to come in the future. I don't have in. This is the last one I have ordered. I'm waiting for something good to get posted, and then I will order some more. I'm also kind of waiting to get through um, 
some other, I just have a lot, a lot going on right now, so I haven't really ordered anything else, but I will get some more. Definitely we'll have some more thread up unboxings, and I'm always looking for other mystery boxes and that type of thing. So if you've seen things on other channels and you have suggestions for, you know, other type of unboxing things, either things that I could use for resale or just unboxing of things that you think are fun, um, let me know. If you have links for it, leave it in the, um, comments and let me know so I can look into it and see what I can do because I think unboxings and mystery unboxings are just a ton of fun. I love them and I think they're fun to watch too. I know I watch a lot of other channels where I watch them um, and I enjoy them. Um, so remember that it is, it's just, it's never too late, you know, to try something new, to do something fun, to just explore what's out there for you. I, I mean, I have come so far this year and done so much and stepped out of my comfort zone numerous times, but even so, there are still so many things out there that I would like to try. You know, the world is just such a big place with so many things and so many people, and I just... I'm looking forward to what I'm going to do, you know, what I'm going to find out about myself and what I'm going... Sorry, I kicked it again. I need, I need to stop doing that. Um, I had to kick the uh, tripod and the whole thing shakes. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this year to see what new things, new people I'm going to run into, new things I'm going to find that I enjoy, and, you know, new things I'm going to learn about myself. New experience with my family and friends. I'm just so looking, to, looking forward to the new endeavors, and, you know, I just kind of can't wait to see what's going to unfold in 2024. So, you know, just remember a new year is starting and that is the perfect time to really figure out what is in your life right now that's working, that's making you happy and what is in your life that isn't working and is causing you unhappiness or stress or, and then, you know, really think about what you can do to lower the stress or get rid of the things in your life that are not positive for you and, and find some things to replace it with that maybe will bring you joy and happiness and teach you about yourself and help you find, you know, the happiness in, in your, yourself and your, your journey. Cause we're all in a journey. I really enjoy sharing mine with you all. And please feel free to leave in the comments, you know, anything, if you're on a journey too, let me know. What are you, where are you going? Where have you been? What are you, um, what are you hoping for in the future? If you're comfortable sharing, I, I would never want anyone to share anything they were not comfortable sharing, but if you're comfortable, let me know. And anyway, I am going to, I can't wait to try on these pajamas. <laughs> and I also want to start researching the stuff that's in here. There's some really fun stuff in here. So I'm going to go get busy and um, I will see you all in the next video. And I just wish you all the best. Let's make 2024 an amazing year. I know we can all do it. So I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.